Good morning. This is Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard. And today I'm in Virginia's backyard. I am in a local park in Radford, Virginia. It's called Wildwood Park. And I'm going to show you today how to find antlions and teach you about the biology. And if you want to find an antlion and see one yourself up close, I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is the perfect place to find antlions. This is a great place and I'm going to switch my camera around and show you why this is such a cool place to find antlions and you can find antlions in a local park near you, I'm sure. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. And here's the make this basic. There's a top. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's... So in our neck of the woods, this is a great place to find antlions. They're usually right on that edge, right here and right here. But we've had a lot of rain, and a lot of these antlions have moved inside. Why is this such a good place to find antlions? Because they like to dig traps or pits in dry, dusty soil. And underneath a picnic shelter or the eaves of your house, if there's loose dirt there, are perfect places to find them. So what do I look for? Well, let's go up here and take a, take a look. And whoa, there's an antlion pick. So I'm looking for inverted cones. And let's just see how many there are here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a really big one. Eight. No, there's lots of lots of antlion pits here. And the antlion pit is a trap for passing insects to fall into. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. So now I'm up close and personal with an antlion pit. And so let's, let's see what this is about. So I'm here in some dry soil, and you can see that there's a deep pit here, as well as some other smaller pits, which may be pits that have just been started, or might be by smaller antlion larvae. And the antlion digs these by throwing the sand up into the air and over the edge. And you can see there's a rim here as he's been taking stuff and throwing it around. So using a spoon, I dug out one of the pits and I carefully blew away some of the dirt. And here I found an antlion. There are some serious, serious pinchers on that, this guy. So this is an insect. We can see four of its legs. It should have six legs. We'll have to turn that over here in a minute. It has a... So here, I flipped one over so you could see and count his legs. And you can see that he clearly has six legs. So he's an insect. And the other thing I noticed that when these guys are exposed, they'll play dead. And their strategy to avoid predation, if they're not in that ant pit that they built, is to lay very, very still and try to go unnoticed. And these guys, when I got them out of that hole, would just lay still. When they're in their pit, in the bottom, they'll continue to burrow and to try to escape detection if you try to dig one out. The other cool behavior I noticed is that they'll do this spontaneous flip over. They can just click their bodies and go from laying on their back motionless and in one second or a fraction of a second, they'll just flip right over. And so let me show you how they do that. It is really amazing. They can just flip over in a second. Minute. It has a segmented abdomen covered with hairs and camouflage with dust. So they'll camouflage with the dirt. So if I move out like this, you can barely see him. It just looks like a rock there. 
But if I zoom in and he moves, you can see him. This is their larval stage and their adults look very, very different. They almost look like damselflies, clearly predators, and they usually move by backing up. So I'm going to stop for a minute and see what happens if I put some sand or dry dirt on the table. Let's see what he'll do. And here's how an antlion buries themselves. They always like to go backwards underneath this loose debris. And there he goes. So the purpose of these pit traps is for the antlion to catch insects. Insects will walk by and slip on that slope and fall down into the trap. As they struggle to get out, the antlion will reach up through the loose debris and grab him with those jaws and try to pull him underneath. Sometimes if the ant or another insect gets up on that edge, the antlion will throw more sand or dirt up onto him, make it even slipperier and try to knock him down and make him lose his footing and drag him into the bottom of that pit. So finding antlions, a great place to go is to a public park where there's big picnic shelters with overhang and packed or loose dirt around the edges where the antlions might live. Another good place is at home. Look under the eaves of your house. Anywhere where the soil remains dry, that's covered by a carport edge or the edge of a roof, or in my case, I have a little gazebo down by my pond, and there's antlion pits right under there. And so my next photos and videos come from the antlion traps that are around my pond. And you're going to see something really, really incredible. So here is an antlion digging his nest, as you might call it, which is really an inverted cone in the ground. And they do it by throwing up sand and debris from the center and he's located in dry soil underneath decks and porches like this and i've noticed antlions right under this drip edge so i have to pause here for a second and warn you this next sequence is rather graphic and it's amazing because I was there at this moment that apparently an ant walked by the pit and fell in and I was able to record live, real time, a real event in nature and wildlife, the, the reality of it, and watch this ant get pulled down into the pit. I've heard of people finding insects and putting them into the ant pit or picking up an ant and dropping it in the pit and watching what happens. But this was not staged, this was the real deal. So I warn you, it's pretty, pretty graphic. Well, this is an ant that's fallen into the antlion trap right while we've been videotaping. And the ant can't seem to get out and the antlion is trying to capture him and pull him down into the hole. So while filming this antlion building his inverted cone-shaped trap in the soil, this ant must have come by and fallen in. And I can't tell right now if the antlion is trying, yes, he is pulling him down underneath into the hole, and he's going to feed on him. What an incredible thing to just have witnessed. An antlion, a predator, capturing an ant, and that one was actually a species called the Allegheny Mound Ant. He grabbed him with his jaws as he went by and pulled him down and underneath. And now he's going to eat him. Wow, right? Isn't that incredible to be able to witness that? And isn't it amazing what you can see in your backyard? This was in my backyard. There's so much nature and wildlife and things to see and discover. And I want you to discover that. If you want to find antlions, 
Again, look under an eave or pitch of a roof where the soil's dry, and that's a good place to start finding them. If you want to actually see the ant lion itself outside of the pit, use a little spoon and scoop up the bottom of the pit and then spread that dust on a table or on the top of a clipboard or a, or a folder or a notebook or something like that. Something You can spread some of that dirt out and gently blow it. I've also found them by getting down on my hands and knees and blowing into the center of the pit until the dust clears and I blow away the, the dust and debris that's on top of that ant lion. This video wouldn't be complete without me telling you that ant lions are also called doodle bugs. I have lots of uh, old school folks telling me, oh yeah, that's a doodle bug, and how they used to watch them when they were kids. Doodle bugs get their name because you know how they go backwards. Well, when they are moving their location or picking out a new site, sometimes they'll leave these like aimless trails in the sand or dust, kind of crisscrossing around while they're looking for just the right place to make their pit. And it looks like a doodle in the sand. So that's why they're called doodle bugs. Antlions are insects. What we saw today is the larval stage. The adult stage looks like almost like a damselfly. Very, very different. So of course they're going through metamorphosis. And sometimes in the bottom of the pit, instead of finding an antlion, you'll find an antlion cocoon covered with debris, carefully camouflaged as well, and the adult will hatch from that. Thanks for watching Nature in Your Backyard. And you know, if you like this and you want to see more, please subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. It's really, really important for me to, for, to hear from you and see what you thought of the video and hear about your experiences and what you find. Thanks for watching Nature in Your Backyard. Catch you next time.